I feel like somebody really needs to hear this in order to get that push to like start your own singing journey or music journey. I'll be like, yo, Alexa, play songs by Zane Rima. Oh, she's listening. She's listening by Paz Demente. Okay, that's creepy, that's creepy. Okay, so Alexa, stop. Hey buddies, welcome back to amazing channel. I'm Zayn Rima and today I'm so excited for this new year and that's the reason why I kind of want to make this video to help inspire you and inspire myself as well. Three reasons why you should be making your own songs now, especially in this year, in this day and age, you have all the access that you can. And also this is a singing channel, so if you need to improve in your own vocals before you start in that, you know, make a little plan. One of the biggest reasons why you should start making original songs you can't post it on YouTube without getting copyright claimed if it's not your song. For example, if you are used to doing singing covers of your favorite artists and you post them on YouTube, most likely you see this on your video that you posted. You might get a copyright notice. Even if you sang it a cappella or used your own instrumentals or played it yourself, you still can get claimed. Especially if you have the song title in the description, in the title. It gets sent through the algorithm, they detect it, and then they claim it. And what that means is you're not really in trouble unless you get a strike. Don't get this confused with copyright strike because that's more serious. They don't really penalize you sometimes. They'll just share that revenue or they'll take all of the revenue that you make from singing their song, their original work. Sometimes it's claimed by the artist themselves or their label wants them coins that you be making off of their works. So you can't really support yourself by making covers on YouTube. You get claimed and it's it sucks. There's original songs on YouTube that went viral. Just for an example, credits to her. Like if you do the YouTube math where you get paid per thousand views, usually from $5 to $10 per thousand views. So you divide the number of views by a thousand and then you multiply it by the CPM. That's like how much they got paid for that video so far. And as that video keeps racking up views, all that money goes to them, especially if you check in the description and there's no black text that shows it's from a label and it's actually their song all that money is theirs and not just that they post it on Spotify iTunes Apple music they get streams there they get paid twice not the same amount but from different streams of revenue so consider that as well it's big bucks I'm telling you reason number two is you get taken more seriously as an artist if you start writing your original songs and not just depend on singing other people's songs or covering songs or doing a cover channel you're not making that much money because they're claiming it so you can't support yourself as a singer by singing other people's songs even if it gets 20 million views because you are covering somebody else's song and it got popular or viral if somebody said in one of my cover songs I loved your cover Please cover Ariana Grande's song next. It doesn't feel as rewarding as somebody who comments on an original song of yours and says, I love this, I like listening to this. Please post more original songs. It's like that kind of push, like, oh, they like my style, let me add more. You know, and I don't know, maybe that's just me. I want to know what you think about that in the comments. What is going on? Hello? Okay, that was weird. I'm sweating. And that's not to say you should stop posting covers completely. For a marketing strategy, that's pretty good, even though you know you're not gonna make money from it or get really recognized for that, it's still building an audience that like your style of voice. So at the same time, if you really do love making covers, keep doing that, but also post your original song so that they can get views as well and they can move towards the direction of, oh, this person is a serious artist and they're not not just a cover artist and you can also make money from your own music and reason number three you get the bragging rights of saying oh my song is on Spotify my song is on Apple music iTunes Amazon music check it out type in my name go ahead they're playing your songs like right in front of you it's that accessible now so it's like you have all this opportunity to be on those platforms too you don't have to have a record label to be on Spotify you don't need um, to be signed to somebody so it's like if you do 
do all the marketing yourself. You become an independent artist and you build your own team. Like that's why I'm so passionate about that. Listen to my podcast, I talk about it all the time. It's like a huge change in music nowadays. Before you would have to be part of a, a record label, you have to be signed into contracts to be able to have your music played on certain platforms. But now Spotify, Apple Music, they let you do this even without having a record label. And I'll teach you in the next video. To so check that out, please subscribe, guys. I'll show you how you can upload your music next. In 2020, it is 2020 now. I'm gonna be releasing more music, so um, my name will be on there. Hopefully by then, I'll be like, yo, Alexa, play songs by Zane and Rima. Oh, she's listening. She's listening by Paz Demente. Okay, that's creepy, that's creepy. Okay, so Alexa, stop. She just said she's listening. Not only do you get bragging rights for saying you're on those platforms, but to also say you make money from that. You know that per stream, you can make 0 .006 cents. It's not even one cent per stream. But if you think of it like this, if one of your songs out of 30 songs that didn't go as good as you expected it to, if one of those songs got viral, there's a possibility the more songs you put out, the more chances you have to improve and the more chances you have to going viral for one of the songs that really bopped, that song will make you royalties. Your music, you get paid. Imagine 0 .006 times a million streams, $6,000 just from one song. Now imagine the possibility you can get like the, the girl in the beginning of this video, seven million views. Multiply that, you make in 42,000. You kind of get the groove of it and you get a fan base to listen to your music consistently. Um, yeah, crazy, crazy revenue. And that's all yours. You don't have to split it up with the producers or anything. That's why I encourage you learn how to make your own songs and produce them. And there's videos on this channel. I'm still learning to produce mine. Um, and I'll show you a snippet of mine I'm working on towards the end of this. Please subscribe. And try this 2020. Do everything you can to get you a step further into your goal. So my goal is to be a singer that's recognized as a singer. <laughs> because right now, I'm a singer that's recognized as a YouTuber and I kinda wanna flip that script this year and really have people recognize me more for my music rather than my tutorials. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you in any way, shape, or form. This is me trying to tell you, like in a bunch of videos, you can take matters into your own hands. Stop making excuses and stop waiting around for the answers. Make your own answers and start making your music if like i said that's not just like go straight into putting your songs on spotify take those baby steps maybe start improving your voice and once you are feeling comfortable on that then start building up your your setup your your little setup and it doesn't have to be too expensive either there's videos on my channel about that please subscribe guys and give us a thumbs up happy new year i hope you enjoyed this video i love you so 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 much be amazing that's out of order wow 2020 here we go <laughs> bye here's a quick snippet of a song that i'm making um it's called i didn't notice and it's kind of a sad song so my first single that's gonna be on these streaming platforms is pretty sad and emotional maybe i'll release it around valentine's day maybe i don't know so convincing that without you i can't find my own peace and be myself again but you need me and those words bring me closer than i ever was to a weak little girl so i try again just pretend then maybe I did okay that's all you get for now I <laughs> hope you guys like it bye <laughs>
Exactly, and that's why I don't do that many covers on this channel, you know?